Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Now in today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about the ASUS VivoBook 15X OLED. Now that's a pretty long name here, but basically it's this particular laptop that I've been using for the past few weeks. Now just to let you know in terms of the name, the 15X basically means it's 15 inches or so. Uh, to be exact, it's 15.6 inches. And of course, we have that OLED moniker at the back because it basically has the OLED display, which is very fantastic. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Now what's so special about about this particular laptop. Well, I've been using it, like I said, for the past few weeks, and I think it is perfect for students, those who work from home a lot, even those who work remotely in cafes. It's a very portable device, and of course, if you do some lightweight kind of editing, this laptop will actually be able to help you out. Now, let's jump in and talk a bit more and dive deep into the ASUS, you know, VivoBook 15X OLED. I want to start off first and foremost with the design. Now, this is actually a fairly compact device here. It is only 1.7 kilograms, which makes it fairly lightweight. I wouldn't say that it's the lightest laptop out there, but this means that you'll be able to slide into your backpack or you know like laptop sleeves really easily and without any issues. Other than that, in terms of the chassis, it's actually built quite well. You do not have any flex in it at all. And in terms of the ports, yes, this is a very important one. We have a lot of ports here. On the far right corner, you will notice that we have the HDMI port. We have two Type A's, one Type C, your headphone jack, and of course that DC input. Now moving on to the left, we also have a one more single Type A port. I would say that you are pretty much covered here because if you use an external display you can use the HDMI port and if you are using a mouse like me personally you can actually just put in those you know in one of those type A parts there and otherwise I think it would be perfect if it came with an SD card reader because you know you could just slot it in but otherwise I think we are fairly covered here in the kind of parts that we have other than that moving to the back panel here you notice that we have a couple of speakers at the bottom of the laptop itself now I did wish that the speakers was front facing so we have a better sound but most of the time it's me personally I'm actually using my earphones to you know listen to music and watch movies just so that I don't disturb anyone around but just in terms of the sound is good enough you know for occasional use now if you just flip open the laptop uh, doing that right now in front you will notice that first and foremost we have a fairly large display but what's most important here is the bezels that we have around it's actually quite thin on all three sides here and if you focus your eyes to the top of the bezel this is where you will notice that we do have that front facing camera and what I like the most here is that we have that flip switch to actually you know turn off the camera and just turn it open with just one flick of a finger and I think that's really convenient these days because we want to have uh, you know focus on privacy we don't want to leave our webcams you know like this switch on at any point of time so you can just flick it close with you know a finger and of course if you move down to the laptop itself once again you will see that we have a fairly large keyboard over here now I like this keyboard very much because there is a numpad on the right corner that means that you know typing numbers is fairly quick and easy and in terms of the feel of the keyboard itself yes it does come with decent key travel I'm able to type fairly quickly on this keyboard and I was able to adapt to it very quickly as well so personally I don't find any issues with this keypad at all I've been typing a lot of documents and PowerPoints on here and it never gave me any issues now moving down you'll notice that we do have a very wide trackpad and most of the times I do use an external mouse but I noticed that it was also fairly accurate over here and on the top corner of the trackpad itself this is where you'll notice that we have a fingerprint scanner now the fingerprint scanner is actually very accurate and fast I mean I could just tap on it with about 0.5 seconds and it will register and you will see that I will be able to unlock my laptop fairly quickly it works with a number of different fingers so you can you know put in a couple of fingerprints there and it will just work flawlessly so overall just in terms of the design the build the form factor I think the ASUS you know VivoBook 15X OLED is actually very well made right now let's talk a little bit more about the display this is really the star of the show here because we do have a very high performance OLED display on the ASUS VivoBook 15X OLED I'm going to start off with a couple of numbers here the size itself is like I mentioned earlier on it's a 15.6 inch panel you do have 2. 8K resolution that means it's going to be very sharp on this display and best of all like I said it comes with that OLED panel that means that viewing angles is superb you can view it from any kind of angle and you will not lose the kind of contrast or saturations levels most importantly I'm sure you are used to your smartphone by now which is probably an OLED panel as well you have those deep blacks and in terms of the brightness levels it does get fairly bright which is good enough for using near a window but if you move on outdoors like under like really strong sunlight and all you might find it a little bit challenging but then again you know how often are you really working like under the sun and all that it's also worth pointing out that it's a 16 by 9 aspect ratio that means that you know watching movies uh, especially on YouTube you will not have those black bars on the top and bottom I think that is actually 
quite interesting there. Now, one more cool thing about this display here is that because it's an OLED panel, naturally it will omit less blue light to your eyes that might cause any kind of damage and harm. So if you are using your laptop a lot, you know, especially at night, doing a lot of work, I think that you might appreciate this OLED panel that releases less blue light. In fact, I have this very cool, you know, lens here that can actually see the amount of blue light that a laptop is releasing. So I have an OLED panel here and a non-OLED panel on the right. And you can see just in terms of the blue light that's being emitted, it is way lesser on the ASUS VivoBook 15X OLED. So just in terms of the display for this price point, I think we are getting a very high performance OLED panel here. Uh, in fact, it does refresh at 120 hertz if you know you are into those very smooth kind of animations and all that. So if you are looking for a laptop that comes with an OLED panel and you really appreciate that, especially if you like to watch a lot of movies, TV shows, you know, YouTube, and play a little bit of light gaming on your laptop, I think this is the perfect, you know, this device for you. All right, now let's move on to how, you know, it actually performs, what kind of, you know, processor it's using, the kind of RAM and all that. So this particular laptop here is using an AMD Ryzen 5 5600H, which is a high performance 45 watt CPU and can go up to 4.4 gigahertz. In terms of the RAM, it comes with 8 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. You do have an upgradable slot if you remove the casing at the back. And in terms of the storage, it comes with 512 GB of storage. It does come with Wi-Fi 6, that means download speeds will be very quick. And also says that they do have this ice cool thermos that will keep the laptop cool even when using it for long periods of time. Now, I did use this laptop for, you know, doing my PowerPoint slides, going through a couple of Word documents. And I noticed that it was able to handle multiple PowerPoints open at the same time. My PowerPoints are actually more graphic intensive, I would say. I have a lot of animations going on here. And again, I noticed that it was very smooth on the ASUS VivoBook 15X OLED. So if you are once again a student or just a working professional and you do a lot of heavy editing on Microsoft Office applications, I think this VivoBook 15X OLED will be perfect for you. Now, over the past few weeks, I also tested out something really crucial that I think most of you would want to know, and that is in terms of the battery life. So using a lot of PowerPoints and documents, browsing on the internet and all that, I found that it was able to hold up approximately six to seven hours on one single charge. I think this is actually quite standard here. It's not to say it's super long, but it's definitely good enough for basic use. So at the end of the day, you know, who is this laptop ready for? Well, like I said in the beginning, it's great for students, people who work from home, work remotely, and does a little bit of lightweight editing. I think this ASUS VivoBook 15X OLED will be the perfect choice for you. Other than that, I also think that those of you out there who really appreciates a beautiful OLED display, you want that high resolution, high refresh rate. Again, this VivoBook 15X OLED will be a perfect choice for you because you'll be able to watch movies, you know, TV shows, YouTube and everything like that really clearly on that 2.8K resolution. Now with that said, if you want to find out more about this particular laptop, I'll drop a link down below. You know, thank you for watching all the way to the end. If you have any questions, feel free to pop them down in the comment section below as well. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Do stay safe everybody. Bye!